Hey guys, Filthy Robot here, continuing our uh, collaboration campaign with Arumba and the Mandate of Heaven patch. How's it going, Arumba? Oh, it's going well. I, uh, I'm about to get a lot of aggressive expansion. How about you? <laughs> I'm considering declaring bankruptcy. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty much the same, I'd say. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, but you're actually seriously considering it. Well, I was just looking. So, I mean, I'm not that far away from a tech. So you were talking about the monarch. I'm kind of far away from tech. I guess, why are techs so fucking expensive? I don't know. Okay, no, I'm not really considering it. I was considering it, like, for a moment, because the new five-year thing, I have an eight-year, an eight-year, and a three-year piece with all my rivals who are also the only people I can attack. So there's something to be said about potentially doing that, so. Well, I'm going to take 86 base aggressive expansion with uh, 101 countries. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> the, uh, the only countries that are going to consider joining a coalition against me are Ava, Arakan, and Ming, and I'm 90% sure that Ming can't join a coalition against me because I'm the tributary. Well, so I'm that would just be weird. Say, you have to fight Ming. If if he does join a coalition and fires, you have to fight him. Yeah, I, I need two. Everybody. <laughs> two days, okay? Okay. Okay, let's find out. Uh, so yeah, my aggressive expansion map mode looks pretty okay. <laughs> Got some major rebels here, Lana separatists, and Arakan still exists, and uh, that gave me. Conquered provinces from Lana 17. I did not humiliate him though, which is unfortunate. Yep. Um, and I really do want to get that splendor. So you know what I might do? I'm gonna take one more day if you don't mind. Okay. I think I might take. I might not take this province, even though I'd like this province. Even though my mission, no, my mission is not to take that province. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to just not take that land, so that I have more room for war score stuff, and I'm going to humiliate him. And uh, I'll take war reps. I'm at 19.9 more exhaustion. Uh, that's a little bit. How much did it trend down? For a month? Fuck, that's not much. National unrest plus 19. I'm going to get fucking wrecked by rebels, aren't I? Really? So if I just give him... He's upset. Bengal's actually upset with me if I humiliate. I lose 10 trust, because he's given fewer provinces than they expect. Really? Wow, that's very surprising. Um, well, I kind of need to stay friends, but I kind of really care more about Splendor, don't I? I guess I could do it in the next war. One second, who are my other rivals? Arakan's the only one. I can always humiliate him in the next war. It sucks, though. No, I'm just gonna have to humiliate next war. Okay. That's so silly. If I if I full annex this guy, I gain favors. If I give him the exact same amount of land, but I also humiliate this guy, then I lose trust. <laughs> Does that make sense? Oh, fuck. This war exhaustion is going to kill me. I'm going to fire three stacks of rebels that I can't handle. Ah, okay, I found a piece too little work. Animists are just converting, right? If they uh, if they fire, it's just going to be a conversion thing. Uh, animists want to... Yeah, they they're should zealots, to go so They're converting. Alright, I'm going to lose seven, eight trust. That's not enough to make him stop being my friend, I think. Okay, I'm going to peace out if you're ready to go. Yeah, go ahead. I'm trying to sell boats, but no one wants my boats. There's my peace deal. So that is... Arakan cedes land to Bengal. Arakan revokes cores. They are humiliated, which means I have splendor. Yay! Humiliated arrival, and I also have 70 power projection, which is cool. So... Alright, I'm gonna unpause now if you are ready to go. Go ahead. You just like, stop pausing the game. Ah, uh, no, I understand. Well, I'm very glad that you're not dead. I thought you were going to be dead. And, uh... This does, this does ruin my game plan as far as expansion goes. I was going to get claims on Ava, and now I can't do that. I don't really want to become a main tributary. When all my people are peace-blocked around me anyways, right? There's no benefit for me besides... that. Besides yeah. the faction. Yeah, you don't really need to do it right this second. 
Yeah, I think I can do it later. Mon Yang has joined a coalition against us. Well, that's not a good sign. But again, I don't think that, uh... I don't think Ming can join. Ava has joined the coalition. Cool. Sunhui and Langjiang. It's four. If yet has entered into a military alliance. Ava has entered into a military alliance. Uh, it's a little bit concerning. There's a lot of nations there that are... This is the coalition. coalitioning you? Yeah, they joined the coalition because I think I raised... I lowered my maintenance on my army. At least that was the, the thing that I noticed. Hmm. Hmm. How is Korea losing the war against fucking Zhengzhou right now? It's ridiculous. I think I just have to delete these boats. I'm trying to sell them, but I don't think I can. I need the maintenance gone. What is the reduction? It's 50% maintenance reduction with the mothball, right? Yes. Yeah, it's not enough. All right, where's this, uh, improve relations? Neighboring countries, allies, threatening countries. Sure. Go get neighboring countries. Well, Ming offers to make me a tributary every single month, which is kind of a little bit annoying. Wow, it's a bit excessive. It is a bit excessive. Still losing money with no advisors, though. Maintenance down to zero and all my boats deleted. Really? Yeah. Because of devastation, perhaps? Is that... There's a devastation map mode. Uh, let's go take a look at that. I haven't looked at that. Uh, Renaissance just spawned. Yeah. Devastation map mode. There it is. Yeah, my country is pretty devastated right now. Like yeah. 15, 20, 20% across almost all of it. It's probably part of it. I have these fucking animus rebels running around converting provinces, which I really don't want to deal with either, but don't really have an option. Because it's what protected your, by a fort. What was your religion before? Tengri? Yeah. Ready on pause? Yep, go ahead. Looks like I might be able to sneak out one little bit of tech before this renaissance thing gets too high. I'm actually sort of considering trying to develop the renaissance tech out here. It takes about 2,000 monarch points to do it. To spawn an institution over here. Well, good news is I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not There's dead, a, uh, I'm just seriously crippled. There is a, uh, an, a a very useful, I think, uh, button on the automated automated diplomats, outraged countries. <laughs> you can automatically improve relations with people who hate your guts and yeah. want to murder you. Yeah, that's what you're headed that's for cool. right now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Ming has declared war on somebody else now. Yeah, or it, forced tributary. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to get any stupid peace timer if I accept the tributary request from uh, Ming and then declare war on one of his uh, his guys, right? I don't think so, but before you do that, since I'm a tributary, let me just check and see if I'm allowed to attack another tributary without... Uh, without Ming intervening. I don't think he will, but I'd like to confirm that for both of yeah. us. I need three days and I can check. I have no CB. Yeah, no. Ming doesn't show up on the list of nations. Did we just so I think, sync or I think lag out okay. or something? Or is it pause? Okay, I just clicked uh, reduce more exhaustion. And I think I... Did it reduce? I don't think it did. Maybe it did. You probably had that much, didn't you? I was at 20 more exhaustion. 20? And I bought it down six times now. All my depot has been spent buying down more exhaustion because I got to stop all these rebels from firing because I can't handle the size wow. of the rebel stacks. Wow. Yeah, it's not been good. Almost full occupation of my country at one point. Tributary state with less total military technology levels than Overlord, minus 5% cost. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, He's giving me a discount on Diplo tech and on military tech. It's very nice. We got military tech four now, which will hopefully make this, uh, this coalition start to go away. Wish you could see your land. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird how I can see you, but you can't see me. It's just based it on... Very strange. On tech group. Am I going crazy? I don't see a button for offering vassalization to... Dongu. Can you not offer vassalization to someone who's a tribute tributary? Hmm, not be able to. Wow, Eurasia is such a scrub. Just warred a... Remember he joined... He Declared war on one of the guys I was warring with, and now is losing. It's ridiculous. Well, I actually managed to get military tech four without demanding any monarch points from the from the nobles. I almost always demand territory. Just from I the demand. ten percent off from Ming, five percent off from Ming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, it might be time to join them. Well, they won't let me do that. Whoa! What is this? They've taken control of a territory near a fort and it's telling me negative things. Why is that? Do you see the territory of uh, Fudeli? Yeah, it's because you don't have a real fort. You've got a... Uh... Oh, it's a fucking capital! I've been letting them just do that because I thought uh, it's a capital fort only. Damn it. All right. yeah, no, no zone of control there, sorry. Yeah, that is actually a bit of a problem. Shit, I didn't realize that. I'm going to have to actually kill that. Damn it. No point in having this on then either. Looks like I might need to hire the... Uh... <laughs> well, I already have an improved relations over time advisor, but still. You have an advisor. Uh, <laughs> Lucky bastard. Yeah, I also have power projection too. I got 65 power projection right now. How about you? Yeah, about that. About that? 21, you know. I'm in uh, ninth place, according to the Great Powers of the World screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably other countries ahead of me. Just, you know, not really. So, conduct population census. Uh, Empire of China has conducted a population census. Um... Does this only affect him, or does it affect all people? It doesn't affect me, does it? No, it looks like it's just his territory. What a greedy bastard. Well, I got through that pretty good, I think. I, uh, I just paid off my only loan. I'm making money. I have no unrest, because I didn't actually take any lands. I achieved a Splendor ambition, so I'm gaining three Splendor per month now. Triple your Splendor generation! Haha! <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I need to be I need to be present on two continents. Let's see. Where's the next continent border? So obviously this is Asia. Jianzu seeds a lot of land. One, two, three provinces to Korea. Well he still exists. Uh it turns out that Asia is a big continent and it's all just over here. I was hoping maybe there'd be like a single province down in the Philippines or something that would be, or the, whatever this is, this region, Indonesia, it could be part of like Australia, but no, it's all Asia, so that's not going to be a splendor of ambition I could go for. Ah, buzz, war deck. Okay, uh, presence on two continents, so I got to stop worrying about that. Uh, Meng Yang has cited coalition. The traitorous Bengal has refused to join our honorable and just war. Oh, God. Uh, Sucks. Well, hey, okay, about that. Uh, we're going to go hide and let Ayutthaya defend us because he honored the call because he's awesome. It's nice to have allies. Quick war check. Uh, level three, level three, level three, level three. They're all on tech three. Sweet. And all of my allies have tech three as well. Okay, good on pause if you are. Yeah, go ahead. I also coincidentally have 110% discipline. Ocean War is show superiority. It is based on war score. Having 10 war score from battles gives you what we need. All right, let's do this. Fight. You want to fight me, Ava? Ava? Reminds me of Eve. Eva. Eve from uh, Wally. Finding Wally. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Man, war. Not do me any favors. Man, this is one hell of a pylon battle. Um, hey, you want to know one of the best changes in this patch? What's is that? a uh, the fact that they fixed the combat bug. Remember that bug that was driving both of us yes, nuts? Yes, I'm so fucking shit. It's better now. It's good. Right, I can't even see relative strength of the alliance, unfortunately, because it's multiplayer. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing that there's a lot of dudes out there. Alright, well, Six I don't think I'm up. dead yet. Nope. I have at least sure. five different vassals at the same time. Why do oh. I have 20 trust with Ming? I did not accept their uh, their, tribu their tributary request. Does that n give me a trust negative? Could be, yeah. That's really painful. Uh, plus 10 autonomy. I feel like this coalition was a bad idea on their side. I feel like I've, I've got an advantage here in numbers. I could be mistaken. Maybe that first battle just went really well or something, but... Yeah, because we're all members of the... Uh, we're all tributes underneath Ming. Ming is not getting involved. He's just letting the infighting happen. That's good of him. No, it's not. What are you talking it is. About? I don't want him to... It's not right. He's supposed to help me out. <sighs> A little stressed out? Are you still struggling? Yeah, of course. I'm a little bit annoyed that Bengal, even after... I, I tried so hard to, to protect that guy. Like, to keep him as my ally. And now he's, uh... You know, he didn't honor the call. Pretty unpleasant. Not cool at all, man. And we have a royal marriage with him still. Can't give royal marriages. I did find, find that out. Also losing a fair bit of money at the moment. Yep, I have that same problem. Where did Ayutthaya's army just go? Alright, so next time Ming sends me a request, I gotta be like, yes, what? I can send Royal Marriage suddenly? But I couldn't. How many times did he offer it? And you're just like, nah. Don't. Like, well, he's doing, I didn't read it because I thought it was just like, you know, like an open uh, open borders of the offer, you know, where you get a small standing hit if you say no. And he sends it to me like three, like three or four times, maybe. And my trust is now 20 with him. So, and considering you start at 50, I bet you he sent it three times and it's minus 10 trust per. Sounds Which like that could be. Seems about excessive. Rent. Wow, this is a big battle. Good luck. Oh, six war score. Mm, that's pretty close to beating the coalition right there, then. Now you just hide. That is a lot of dudes. Holy crap. 1,500 men per side are all dying. We're just wrecking each other. What a slog. Vinya rolls it out. <laughs> he just rolled a nine on like the last three phases in a row. It's pretty good. That was amazing. Vinya for great justice. Anyway, uh, it's that time, so if you are good to go, I am good to go. Good to go. I guess that uh, is describing me right now. All right, uh, let's cut the part here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. In a bit.